Good morning, everybody. I woke up and uh, checked the weather app, and it turns out there's a slot of one hour where it's not raining. So I thought, right, get up, get dressed, and uh, start exploring that new route that I spoke about last night, just to see what the potential is. So, here we go. I've extended the route. I'm about three and a half k in. Won't be anything too spectacular this morning, I'm sure. But it's uh, more about scouting out the potential of a safer route for running at night than it is about going for distance. I'm going to be kind to my body today. It's not going to push for the long run if it's not in me. You know, I think I'm going to run for an hour, see where I'm at, and then uh, evaluate the next step. Well, my run is coming to a close. That was really good actually, just to get out this morning. The rain is starting to come down now, so quite well timed for the end of my run. Um, yeah, I might go out again later. I need to see what the route's like truly in the dark, because I was trying to count the street lights, but it wasn't so easy to do. The unpredictable British weather strikes again. The sun's back out, so it's been dry, wet, now sunny all before 11 a.m haven't quite uh, made a firm decision yet about whether i will or won't run later i got my stats through on strava for my october running I'm not that pleased actually with my total kilometer distance it's not as much as i thought um, that said i don't actually track everything on strava i don't always uh, transfer from my watch onto strava so I mean, there's a chance there's some kilometres missing in there, but it's clear that I need to just up things and uh, start to get more serious about the distance I'm covering. I know I've still got time, but I want to begin to get into a, a clear routine of getting that distance on my legs because ultimately that's part of the process. So I'm just out at the moment getting some more fresh air. I don't feel like I have had enough fresh air this week. I've been busy, but I think actually just some time to, to walk in the sun and reflect this is very very important especially for me it gives me time just to let the week go and uh, clear my mind ready for a, a fresh week ahead so hopefully this weather will continue for a, a little bit longer it would be really great if it just stayed like this for the rest of the day so I could get another short run in either this evening or maybe something slightly longer tomorrow but we'll see I've also got the gym to have a look at so maybe that tonight I head down the gym or maybe tomorrow I make a commitment to go down there early morning it's 24 hours anyway so it's not going to make too much difference when I go but all I want to do is just get familiar with what it's like to run at distance on a treadmill because I haven't never done that before I've you know dabbled with it but nothing too serious and obviously trying to get the pacing correct and things like that on the treadmill. I don't really know how that works, I'll be totally honest with you. I mean, the settings from 1 to 11, I don't think that really will correlate to a pacing plan. So, we'll see how things go. But I thought I'd just capture a bit more footage. Put me out for a walk, even if it is residential. Very, very jealous of uh, the people that live in these more picturesque environments but you work with what you've got and I'm certainly doing that look at this it's uh, half past two in the afternoon look how dark and grey everything is people have got their lights on not nice no run for me tonight <laughs> <laughs> 